Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're tackling a common issue with these French door refrigerators made by Whirlpool. If you get water leaking from the bottom of the fridge, don't worry, we're going to show you how to fix it. Here's the tools that I used today to fix this fridge leak. I've got a razor knife, needle nose pliers, and a multifunctional screwdriver. One of the most likely causes for this leak is the ice maker. Specifically, we're gonna check three key areas. The water supply line to the pump, the line from the pump to the ice maker, and the ice maker filler tube, which might have ice blockages. You'll find that uh, filler tube right behind this plate here that has these two screws. We're gonna remove that. First, disconnect the power, and then turn your water supply off for the ice maker. This is a quarter inch nut driver that I'm using to remove these two screws. If you don't have that, I think you can use a flat head. If you have a flat head screwdriver, you can um, use that on these screws. It's just easier with the quarter inch. Okay, so I have the plate removed here and I can obviously see that the water line has come disconnected from the filler tube. Um, so before we reconnect that, I'm going to remove this filler tube and check it for ice. Just wiggle this back and forth and pull and the filler tube will come out. Now I got this filler tube out, we wanna check for ice and just as I suspected, it's blocked up and full. So we're gonna take it over to the sink and thaw that ice out of there until it's completely free. Another thing I like to do, you don't have to do this part, but I like to cut some of the tip off of this filler tube. I find that most of them are too long and it causes the water to splash up against the ice maker too much and build up some ice inside your freezer. It can do that and it's definitely it's a step you don't have to do, but I usually do this.
Now we're gonna take our needle nose pliers to this clip here and remove it. You'll see, we're, you're just gonna squeeze the tabs on it. I'm gonna put it on the ice maker line and put it on that side of the water line first. And once I have the ice maker line pushed up into the filler tube, then we're gonna squeeze the clip, the tabs on the clip, and just reconnect that so that it's nice and snug. All right, and just like that, and then release, and we're good to go. And we're just gonna, um, Push this piece of tape back on and reconnect them, or actually reattach that plate, that metal plate from earlier. And that's it. By checking those connections in the filler tube on the back, you should have the leak fixed. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY tips and repair videos. See you next time. Now we're going to plug the fridge back in and turn the water line back on and test for leaks. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY tips and appliance repair videos. See you next time.